There is also something else uh, in this update is that tidal heating. Uh, tidal forces, uh, for um, those who aren't aware, uh, is when two bodies are orbiting each other, like let's take the moon and the earth for example, there are forces, there, there are forces acting on the planet, there are tidal forces, that's what causes all of the, uh, that turns all the oceans and causes a lot of techno tectonic activity on the planet, is the moon essentially pulling on the earth and the earth pulling on the moon and vice versa, and that causes stress on the planet and that stress causes heating. I think that makes sense in my head. I think that's what causes the heating. Tidal, tidal heating. Uh, correct me if I am wrong. I don't have a physics degree. <laughs> we are going to make the moon orbit the Earth very, very closely, and we are going to observe using our scientific method. Will this heat up the Earth in any kind of capacity? So let's just make it orbit super. Let's slow this down. Also, orbit super, super close. Super, super close. Okay. The oh my, that's amazing! It's actually orbiting so close. The moon's orbiting so close. It's ripping the moon apart. That is, that is fantastic. I love it. That is, I have no words. That is awesome. Oh my god, look at that. It's just following the orbit and they're trickling down. Look at it. it's actually going into the atmosphere. Holy Jesus. I want to do this with more things. I want other moons to get ripped apart. This moon is heating up. I trust that this is how it works, that this would actually happen. <laughs> the moon is getting smaller, I think, too. Like, they, I, damn, this thing is just going to be nothing in a second. We are creating a ring for the Earth. I want to see if it eventually just becomes nothing. Like, will it be? Will it get to a size where, like, it can actually be stable? And it will still be the moon, but it will be so small that it's just, like... The size of the International Space Station. It's such a small ball. Such a tiny ball. <laughs> oh, and look at the ring is stabilizing. It's just stabilizing in this orbit. Go, moon, go. Follow your friends in unison. They're in harmony. I did not expect that to happen. I was just so, I was just thinking it's like, oh, tidal heating. That just means that, uh, <laughs> that it's just going to get hot. It's like, it might be exciting. I just want to check it out because that was, that was cool. That, that is one of the coolest things I've seen happen. Like, one of the biggest surprises that I've, since I've recorded these. But I'm going to make two other Earths kind of fight for their dominance. Who's going to be the dominant Earth in this system here? All right. And they're binary orbiting, so they're going to have stress on each other. Will they just merge together? Oh, this Earth. Oh, God, I'm kind of losing, losing track here. This Earth is stealing the rings from the other Earth. He is sucking them all up, and this Earth is gonna get pissed. And he's gonna be like, no, I want my rings back. Or maybe uh, since they are equal in mass, that this won't happen. They'll actually orbit in unison. This is all heat up the planet. Heat up an Earth. Keep spinning it around, spinning it around, spinning it around. Oh, Jesus. I think I just glitched the game out. <laughs> and then they finally hit each other. All right. I want to... Uh, Let's just do a blank simulation then. So maybe like maybe this doesn't work with the Earth. Let's try two moons orbiting each other. So close they're gonna be like uh I don't even know. Bolos or something, like a couple bolos and you're going hunting. See that's not oh okay, it's causing a swarm of bees to engulf the moon. Okay. Apparently when the moons, two moons are equal in mass orbit each other, you get the bees. The bees from space. Space bees. And let's get Mars orbiting each other. Mars is gonna orbit eh, roughly right there. And let's slow it down. Ooh. Oh god, it is it's sucking the life out of Mars! Mars is getting so tiny! <laughs> Oh my god, Mars! You're getting so small! Mars, are you okay, Mars? What happens when Jupiter sucks up Uranus? Are you gonna suck up Uranus? Something's happening. Something's happening. It's actually taking rocks from Uranus. Holy shit! Huh. Well, that was different. We're forming planets. We just formed another gas giant, and then it fizzled out into more gas. And then what's this? It's gonna fizzle out into more gas. What is going on here? That is different. That is different. Police box will be right there. Insanely close to the planet. Huge difference in mass. Will the police box zoom in? There we go. Jesus, that is how... That is what it's like being that close to Jupiter. Will the doctor survive? The doctor is surviving. The doctor is stronger than planets. Not really. I think the doctor is invincible. The doctor can handle anything. I have to 
I have to try since we're talking about orbits when some when there is a huge pull of gravity and something is like really close to a planet you get a lot of stress so of course I need to try this on a black hole I gotta throw a black hole into this let's just start out with good old Sagittarius A and we are gonna put the Earth at the event horizon of Sagittarius A. And let's see the effect on Earth when the Earth is about to get sucked into a black hole. Don't explode on me. Don't explode on me just yet. All right, Earth at the event horizon. This is milliseconds per second and I can't even keep track of the black hole. Are you heating up in any way? This is seven se Oh, it's happening! It's happening! The force, oh my God, this is only seven seconds per second too. All of the rocks are like getting sucked into the black hole or something or no, they're following. Oh my god. We can't even comprehend what is going on. This is Jesus. We've got like that bouncy effect happening. Are we seeing multiple rocks? Let's just make it go faster. It's like earthquake. Holy shit. It's orbiting around this black hole so damn fast. It can't even stay centered on the screen. Jesus, the effect that it has on all of the rocks. This is 30 seconds per second. Just keep in mind, Sagittarius A is the center of our galaxy. Our sun orbits Sagittarius A, and Earth is going around it. The radius is that. Many, 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 many kilometers. It's actually a lot smaller than I expected, but still, still, we're orbiting that thing insanely fast. The force, the force on the planet right now. I'm surprised this thing is still standing. The Earth is about to reduce to rubble. It's gone forever. It has been consumed by Sagittarius A. We actually just witnessed a very, I think, slow motion spaghettification of the Earth. But it just kind of broke it up into rocky pieces. But it was getting elongated. All of the rocks were elongating along the black hole. That's all it is. I think that's all it is. Is that the, you had the you had the uh, Earth, then you had the Moon. The Earth was just spaghettifying the Moon until all the pieces got sucked into that gravitational object, and that's all a black hole is. It's just a really extreme version of a gravitational object where light cannot even escape. All right, I'm thinking I am going to try and really come up with this strange, strange scenario here. We're gonna have Mars. Our starting position here is Mars, and we're gonna bring in Pluto because we have to bring in Pluto. I'm very disappointed that Pluto is not in the in the planet section, Pluto is in the, in the minor section, the inferior minor section. We're gonna have Pluto, or sorry, Mars picking on Pluto. Pluto, although Pluto's kind of starting the fight here. Pluto's like, hey, hey Mars, you're not that big. <laughs> and Mars is gonna be like, oh yeah, oh yeah? And then Pluto's confidence is just gonna, just gonna drain. The spaghettification will happen, that is. That's basically what's going to be going on here. But that is just part one of this scenario. We need to have a part two. We have to throw a mix in here. But, ah, yes. So Pluto is going to have uh, Charikio, Charikio orbiting it. So there we go. We've kind of got like a weird double orbiting system going here. But, but I want to do something more. Titan is going to orbit this entire system, I guess. Titan's going to be right here. Titan's just gonna be like, yo, I don't know, it's like, you guys are fighting here, Pluto's got like his small friend, he's trying to confront Mars, and then Titan's like, I don't know if I should intervene, it's like, I, I don't really know them that well. That's kind of what's going on, it's like, you got like this bystander effect happening of Titan, he's just gonna be witnessing the fight. Okay, alright, let's, uh, let's, let's watch, let's watch what's happening here. Oh, Pluto, uh, kinda got torn apart really fast, and I couldn't really even tell what was going on, Titan's like, holy shit, man, Titan's actually getting closer. Titan, what are you doing? Titan! Titan's gonna get torn apart. Maybe Mars is like, That's right, go tell all the other Jupiter moons what you just saw. I tore apart Pluto! That was right, it was me! Maybe Titan will just freeze in fear. Oh no, oh god, you're getting some of the Pluto blood all over me! I can't even believe what's going on! Holy shit! And in the, in the middle of all of this fight, we just managed to uh, terraform Mars. Totally just made Mars habitable. <laughs> Pluto has the answers to everything. Look at this. We got the continents. We we just made Elon Musk's dream come true. All right, we gotta analyze this. Do we have possibility of life? We're losing all the water. No, what's happening? It's all the heating. Is it? It's Titan. It's all Titan's fault. I think Titan is ruining everything. We're heating up. Okay, now they're starting to dance with each other. Mars is getting heated up by Titan. 
but Titan's not really feeling any of the effects. Maybe Titan, maybe he's like one of those quiet dudes. He's like, yo, yo, I don't, I don't want to, he's a pacifist. Actually, Titan is actually heating up too. It just has a really gassy atmosphere. Okay, after fast forwarding this a lot, Mars now has uh, an 80% similarity to Earth. We got the water. <laughs> this is working out splendidly. It doesn't seem like they're like really tearing each other apart though. I think these two are just destined to dance with each other. So I think I will leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> Because I certainly did. Uh, and I will, uh, I'll see you all later.